Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to prepare a pot of delicious broccoli cheese soup. Now this soup is perfect for this time of year, but you can enjoy it anytime because it's always good and it's super easy to put together. And today I'm going to show you how to make it step by step. Let's get started. Now I'm getting ready to make my soup. I have my broccoli all prepared, as you can see right here. See, it's all cut up into small pieces like this and it's nice and clean. But I left a small bunch because I wanted to show you how I cut it up. Now, as you can see, here's the stalk at the bottom and I'm not gonna use it because I have some already cut up into small little pieces like this. And this is about half a cup. So I'm just gonna cut it up very easy like this. You just want the little florets. Now you don't want to throw this away. You can use it to make a slaw or you can use it for something else. Now my Ron doesn't like for me to cut it up into tiny little pieces. He likes texture in his soup. Don't you, honey? Yes, I do. See? I just cut it up into small pieces like this and just give it a rough chop. And this is good right here. Now I just wanted to show you the broccoli because it is the star of the show. So now that I have it all cut up, we can go to the stove. So I'm gonna be using this big Dutch oven right here. And I've got my heat set a little bit lower than medium. I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of butter. And I'm also gonna add two tablespoons of bacon grease. I think this bacon grease is gonna add a delicious flavor in here. The combination of both. Now I'm gonna add my onions. I have one and a half cups of finely chopped onions right here. Now this is a yellow onion and I'm gonna move it around until it gets slightly translucent. Now I'm gonna add my carrots. I have one and a half cups of finely chopped carrots right here. Now this is equal amounts of onions and carrots. And I'm gonna add one small celery rib and it's finely, finely chopped. I want the flavor, but I don't really want big pieces of celery. Now you can also use celery seed and if you're not using salted chicken stock, you can use celery salt. Now I'm gonna move this around for about two or three minutes. I want the carrots and the celery to release their flavor in there with the butter and the bacon grease and with the onions. And I want you to know that it smells absolutely wonderful in here already. Okay, so it's been about two minutes. Now I'm gonna add my garlic. I've got three medium sized garlic cloves and they're finely minced. I'm gonna put it in here so that it can release its flavor in here too. And this is gonna be for just about one minute because you don't want your garlic to burn. Now I'm ready for my broccoli. Here's my chopped up broccoli stalk, see? Put it in there. And I'm gonna add all my broccoli. I want for you to look at the color right now. Now the reason I added at this point is because I wanted to get a beautiful, brilliant green. Can you hear it? Now once the broccoli hits the butter and the hot bacon grease, it just turns a beautiful, brilliant green and it's gonna give your soup a beautiful color. So I'm just gonna toss it around for a little bit just until we see that color appear. So it's been about two minutes and look at this broccoli. Look at how nice and green it is. See, that's why I like to do this. Now I'm gonna add my seasoning. I've got half a teaspoon of onion powder. It's a little more concentrated than the regular onion. So that's why I like to put it in here. And here's half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I have a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. So now that I brought it all in together, I'm ready to add my flour. But before I do that, I'm gonna remove a little bit of this. This is gonna be for garnishing later on. See, just a little like this. And I'm gonna set this aside. Now I'm gonna add my flour, all purpose flour. Now this is gonna be our thickener and I'm gonna move it around until it gets nice and cooked. You don't want raw flour in here. Take your time at this point. I'm gonna be moving it around like this until the flour gets real nice and cooked. 
because remember, not only is it a thickener, but it also adds a delicious flavor once it gets cooked. You see that brown part at the bottom? That's the flour, and that's our fond that is gonna give this soup a delicious flavor. Now I'm ready to add my chicken stock, and I'm gonna do it slowly, a little bit at a time. Let it deglaze at the bottom. This is four cups. And there's the rest of the chicken stock. Now I'm gonna add my half and half. I have two cups. Now I'm moving it around like this and I am deglazing the bottom and I can already feel that the bottom is nice and smooth. I'm gonna add some salt and you can add as much as you want. And I'm also gonna add half a teaspoon of regular yellow mustard. I like the little zing that it adds in here, but you can use Dijon mustard, you can use spicy mustard, whatever you like. And I also have a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. My Ron and I like a little heat in our soup, but if you don't wanna use pepper flakes, you can use a little cayenne pepper or you can leave it all out. I'm gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes now I want a little bubble here and a little bubble there. You don't want it to come up to a boil. And I'm gonna leave the lid off, just like that. So now that my soup is simmering on the stove, I'm gonna prepare my bread. I have a loaf here, whole grain. I got this at the grocery store. It's delicious. You can use any type of bread that you want. I'm gonna slice some bread right here. And that's good right there. Now I'm just gonna brush some butter on it like this. Now you can prepare croutons if you want. Any type of bread is good. Now I'm gonna cut it in half. Just some long strips like this. And I've got this cookie sheet right here. I'm gonna set them on this cookie sheet and I'm gonna toast them in the oven. I've got my oven set at 425. Now I'm just gonna put them in there for about six or seven minutes. And at the three minute point, I'll just flip them over to the other side. You want them to get nice and golden. So it's been exactly 10 minutes. And as you can see, there's a tiny little bubble here and a little bubble there, which is what we wanted. You always wanna keep it on a nice low temperature. Now it's time to add the cheese. I have 12 ounces of sharp cheddar and I'm gonna put it in here slowly, a little bit at a time. Now you can use any kind of cheese that you want. See, you want it to melt slowly and gradually like this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's looking beautiful. Now we're ready to serve. Oh, this looks so delicious. Oh, look at this. Now remember that portion that I reserved? I'm gonna put some on top, just to garnish. You're serving this to some friends, you may wanna do that. And I've got some more cheese. Well, just a little bit right here, just like that. Now it's time for the taste test. And here's my bread, nice and crunchy and golden. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Absolutely divine. So this is my broccoli cheese soup. 
If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.